I'd like to say. Again, I'm addressing the, the board here tonight. <clears throat> I respectably submit that the Village Planning Board recommend that no further action be taken to institute a moratorium on gas drilling in the village of Oxford. I submit that Oxford, and I'll stop for one second, I have documents to back up everything that I'm about to read here included. And I have one copy um, I'll give to you. If you need me to make more copies at the shop, I can make more. Oxford is in a unique situation compared to other villages in the central New York area, as they already have zoning laws in place regarding gas drilling. There is no valid public purpose to impose a gas drilling moratorium. As stated above, the village zoning ordinance already prohibits gas drilling within the village. State and county highways cannot be regulated by the village. Industry-related traffic will travel on state and county roads with no benefit to the village. Specifically, New York State Route 12, Route 220, and County Route 32. Any ancillary growth of new businesses created by the industry will most likely be impeded in a moratorium were instituted due to the village being viewed as an unfriendly village and not welcome to the gas industry. Business owners will be ne negatively impacted. The village board heard from a local business owner at the 827-12 trustee meeting that in no certain terms he will be impacted. I submit that this puts the village on notice. It leaves the village open and vulnerable for possible litigation. Will Bradley has or will be submitting a letter concerning his rights of his land use. Mr. Bradley owns approximately 54 acres in the village. I submit that this further puts the village on notice and more vulnerable to the possible possibility of litigation. I also submit that should the village determine to pursue a moratorium, that they include language in the document or create another document that specifically removes the village from any monetary gains that the village of Oxford may receive via New York State ad valorem tax on any gas production. Should the village propose a moratorium, or pursue a moratorium, I respectively submit that they engage in the service of someone other than David Slotsky. I'm attaching several documents, a copy of the correspondence from attorney Robert Wedlake of him and Howard Cattell, LLP, HH and K to the village mayor, Mr. Terry Stark. Two, an email that was, circulate, that was circulated broadly by several groups opposed to natural gas development in indicating that they not use the services of pro-gas pro businesses. A blog published on Energy in Depth, Northeast Marcellus Initiative site regarding a business owner experienced in uh, Lumberland, New York, Sullivan County with David Slosky. That was number three. And number four, the finding dismissal of a case in Horsehead, New York, where the CEDC, Helen Slotsky, um, was a representative attorney. And number five, an email from Robert Wedlake, HH&K, to Mayor, Mary, uh, May, excuse me, Mayor Terry Stark regarding Slotsky's CED representation. In closing, I urge the village to return the village to some normalcy and take no further action pursuing a moratorium for the above stated reasons. Thank you.